<laughs> oh yeah what up you guys welcome back to another one of these <laughs> welcome back to another one of these videos today i want to share with you that club hat thing it's very common it's very old i learned it like 20 years ago at least but yeah there's still not that many people who knows how to make it so i'm gonna actually show you how to make it and how to go there like one way okay there's a ton of different ways to get into that i'm just going to show you one that is very useful i think and then you can come up with your own as well i mean like you can just build it like one by one you put it on the floor and then raise it to your head but there's easier way i think which is um, this but first of all just a quick thing different clubs depending on what clubs do you have act differently like these are not good like the you can see the shape of the knob it's not so good like it can easily slide away okay so it's um, because it's foam knob it's very good for juggling but it's it's quite slippery especially against one another like it works very well for like wrist traps and stuff but it's very bad for this balance so just know that with some clubs, like these are Henry's Dolphins, with some clubs it is easier and with some clubs it is harder, all right? So if you don't manage to do it, if it's not easy, try with a different club, all right? So they act differently because some of them are slippery, some of them are not. But yeah, so what I do, this is the way that I get into it. So it's a triangle, this is what it is. It's this kind of triangle that the club is always over and the knob goes under. Club is over and the knob goes under. Club is over and the knob goes under. So it makes this circle. A way to get into that, like you can just build it like this. You take a club, you put the knob under, you take this club, you put that knob under there, and now you have yourself a triangle. And it just stays there. Now, when it comes to building it, you wanna make sure it's large enough. Like usually these, rings are good, that it's just on there, on those rings, or just under, depending on how long clubs you have. But there you go, you have a club here, that knob goes under, you hold it in there, you have this extra club, you hold it like wrong way, you put it under there, knob goes under, and then you put the club over this knob. And because it's symmetrical, okay, there's a because it's symmetrical, it will stay like that. And you can actually just take this, as long as you keep the shape, that you don't turn this, you can put it on your head and it will stay there like a crown. It's probably, some people might call this like a club crown or club hat, something like that. We never had a name for this, but then again, I was never big into names. I never asked, what is this trick called? I was always like, how can I learn that? That was more what I was thinking all the time. <laughs> but yeah, so the way that I go there is that. And now I have the triangle. So I hold one club here by the ring. I hold it there and I slide this club uh, to the knob. So I slide it forward and it doesn't matter whether you have an over grip or under grip. So if the club is over or under, I slide it forward and then I do this move. So it's, I slide it down and then I push it forward to the right side. So outside, okay? If we do it with the left hand, then it would go to the left side. So it just goes outside. Slide forward, put it here. So you have the other club, slide that forward and you put it here. Now the knob, it's on top. So when you're holding it like this, it's there and you're holding it. So it happens automatically. When you swing it there, it will just come on top because of the swing. And you will hold it there and it will be in the correct position. That's why you were holding here. So you hold the club here, that club will go into the correct position, which is for me, under the ring. You can see the ring is here, it goes there. And I hold it there. Then I take this club, 
right? So I have it here like this. This goes under and the knob goes over. So basically my triangle is now upside down and I have to make sure that they're all touching. So the knobs, what I mean, touching, let me turn it this way. So the knobs are not like this. They're in the correct position and they're actually touching the clubs here. So it's not like this, but it's touching the club and that's there. So they're all touching and they're all in the same place because that's the only way to make it work. So I put that in under over and I hold with both hands. I hold the clubs. I make sure here with my thumb that it's in the correct position. I make sure here that I'm holding it in the correct position and this I have to look that it's in the correct position. And then I go like that. So the club that I'm holding on my left hand, that's going to be the one that is sort of like pointing forward to the left and my right hand goes over. It just turns straight like this. And then you need to find that it's centered and then you can just let go. Oh, it's starting to slide. Um, yeah, so the way to get into it, it's very simple, boom, like that, if you know, if you know what you're doing. But yeah, it's just, I'm being very thorough, so you can see. Here, under, over, and that's it. Then you hold here and make sure it's in the correct position, not like this. You make sure this is in the correct position, and then you push that down Make sure it's in the correct position. Turn it over. Make sure it stays. And then you can let go. And how I get out of it, I go behind this club with my left hand and I grab both. Okay, I grab both clubs with my thumb, the bottom one here. So I grab it like this and then I take this to my right hand. And I just pull them apart. Okay, and what I do here, half a turn, so it's a reverse spin. Draw that one, and this I can spin into here. Uh, there's so many different ways to get out of it. That is just very simple and easy for me. So again, that gets pulled here, do that, and you can do it, boom, bam, and it's done. And now you just make sure it's Everything is in the correct position. Nothing slides. You can let go. Bam, you have it here. Left hand, right hand. Half a turn. Draw this club here. And with the drawing, I swing that. And it just goes um, outside, inside. And then I throw it there. So that is it. That's the, the club crown. Is it better here? Nah. <laughs> But yeah, anyways, give it a try. I think it's a very funny trick. I think it's, it's a lot of fun and there used to be, I've been into some chuckling conventions where we do battle with that. So you have that on and then you battle. But there you want good clubs. Like these dolphins, I think they're very slippery. So they're not the best clubs for that because the handle is a little bit thicker and the knob is slippery. So you may want to get some clubs with a thin handle and some rubbery knobs if you're gonna battle with this. So you have that on and then let's fight. <laughs> but anyways, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys wanna learn more, if you wanna see more tutorials, obviously you can watch them here on my YouTube channel, but I also have my online chocolate course, the Chocolate Mastery. And it is like collection of, it's like a chocolate tutorial database. There's way over 400 chocolate videos and lessons and tutorials. So definitely, definitely check that out. Okay, I'll put the link below, chucklingmaster.com. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.